Hi, my name is Skinny, and um, I play bass in the band Death Stars. Um, we are just about to release a new album. Uh, it's called Everything Destroys You. It'll be out on May 5th. And for us, uh, this album, is it just feels like a, the perfect continuation of uh, maybe the previous albums like uh, Termination Bliss and or Night Electric Night, rather than the latest album, Perfect Cult. It, it's more outgoing, I'd say, uh, and more more of a party al album. So, and it, it got just where we wanted it to go. <laughs> Beautiful party albums always sound good. Thanks for joining us today, Skinny. Thank you. No worries. And also, as you say, Death Stars will release your fifth album, Everything Destroys You, this Friday, May the fifth. So, how, how are you feeling about it, mate? Well, it, it feels great. Um, it, it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> We usually have about five years in between albums, but this time we we we, we stretched it for another eight years. So, <laughs> uh, but you know, the, in in the end, for us, what matters is that we're happy about the album. You know, we we could have released it before the pandemic, but then uh, you know we wouldn't be as happy with the songs. Uh, so we decided that okay, we. We'll wait a little bit. And then we had the pandemic and we got some extra free time to just work on the songs even more. And and that turned out great, I think. Yeah. So tell us more about the album from a musical point of view and what you're going for with it. Yeah, well, it, there's no surprise. It's still Death Stars. It's You're always going to hear it's Death Stars because we have Whiplash's vocals and the Nightmares kind of trademarked uh, uh, writing on the, on the keyboards. Um, but we try to stretch it further and take every every aspect further, you know, as you do. You want to evolve. So I would say the heavier songs are much heavier. The faster songs are faster. And uh, yeah, I think the Nightmare has kind of uh, outdid himself with songs like we have an, a track called uh, Anatomic Prayer. It's almost like progressive rock because... It has a middle part that never you never know where it's going to end up. You know, I, I think he really pushed himself to the limit, uh, and yeah, amazing. I I listen to the album. Usually, I don't listen to our own music. I listen to the album because I like the song. So, oh, well, and that I think that, that's a, something. <laughs> yeah. So when you when you talk about evolving with your music over over each album, mate, like. How does that process work? Like, do you sit down and, and do you write with something specific in mind? Do you experiment with a lot of stuff and throw a lot of stuff out? Like, how, how does that evolution actually come about? It's a lot by chance, but this album was a lot that we wanted to try out new elements and, and new sounds. You know, we, since we use in, incorporate like synthesizers and stuff like that, it's quite easy to to change the dynamic with, with the use of synthesizers. Uh, but then again, you know, it's always what's best for the song. Maybe we have more like guitar melodies on, on this album. Usually we've said that like no solos because it, this should never be like one, you know, you, you shouldn't be there ahead of anyone else. It's, it's all about the, the greater good for the, of the song. Uh, and, and it still is, but this time we maybe changed a little bit with the instrumentation. I get to do a lot more on the bass as well. Sorry. Oh, well, there you go. You've got to love that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, you've released your singles, Angel of Fortune and Crime, Midnight Party, and This Is. So are they a good sonic representation of the album as a whole? I would, I would say so, because it's, yeah, they're, they're quite different from one another. Uh, and that's how we wanted to pick them. First, we wanted to release This Is, uh, which is kind of a banger. You know, you, you, you want to start off hard and to see that people are still awake and make sure they're they're still with us uh and then midnight party is uh it's a good i would say more popish kind of song it has great hook and uh and angel of fortune and crime is more a heavier song kind of trademark death stars yeah heavy heavy song uh so uh, i would say so but there's more songs on the album that that it shows the diversity in a way. So I, I think in that kind of way, this album, uh, we, we managed quite f good with the, yeah, we, with, with the difference between songs, you know, the, the, there is a dynamic instead of, because usually we, 
we tend to get stuck in a kind of a mid-tempo feel, but we have a lot like more faster songs now and heavier songs. So you 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 find the dynamic, I think. And Whiplasher is quoted as saying that the album reflects the scarred city life in the road, which is, is a great way to put it. But can you elaborate on that for us? I have no idea what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> but but but, but I, 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 you know, I always uh, I, I always like a bunch of cool words. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good, eh? Hey? You can make it what you will then. How's that sound? <laughs> exactly. No, but, you know, it's the this album doesn't differ much for, from the previous albums because what we write about is is you know we we go back to ourselves it's 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 about your inner conflicts it's about but then of course you you know you, you can always uh see the reflection of what you feel and what you work with every day in your everyday life or in the world you know the album album title says it all i think yeah. everything everything destroys you and uh you know you destroy yourself social media social media destroy yourself and yeah everything destroys you you know it's no, no matter what we have war in this part of the world as well so pretty bleak when you think about it isn't it <laughs> you look around and everything yeah. can literally destroy you it's sort of not a good but place. you know our, our our idea of it has always been that you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't get all depressed about it. You should know about it. You know, you should, you should be aware of the dark sides of yourself or of the world, but then have fun with it. You know, you know, you could have a, a dystopic party, just dance on the grave. <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned that it, it's been like eight years since your last album came about. So does it feel like a, a new chapter in effect sort of coming back after eight years or is it just a continuation of before? Yeah, well, a new album is always a new chapter, I would say. Uh, it feels different, definitely, because a lot has happened in our personal lives since the last album. Uh, so it's, you know, you're kind of nervous to see, you know, how, how will it go, go on tour again and, and stuff like that. But uh it, it just feels great to to have new songs and to, to yeah be able to do this still um uh, it's amazing yeah sure so going back a bit mate like death stars formed back in 2000 and you joined officially in 2003 after initially being the band's live bass player but what was the music scene like back around then when you joined mate and where, where did death stars fit in um uh, well back then it was a new band and you know for most new bands you always get to be compared to other bands uh so i think a lot of focus ended up on doing that these days you know since we've been around for 20 years yeah you know you, people know what we are and what, what, what we've been doing and of course a lot have changed you know people used to buy records back then it's it's even you know there's a big change and it's still now it's changing so fast you know one year you should have do a song that is one minute long tops because it should fit the tiktok format you know there's no way you're going to keep up with everything that's happening <laughs> that's, no, not at all. You know, yeah. <laughs> it actually raises an interesting point like 20 years is a long time in music for you guys or 22 now but um there has been so many changes along the years like have you ever been a band that's been tempted to sort of change as music changes or have you stuck to your own path and stayed firm? No, I don't. I think it's very dangerous to try to <laughs> and follow what's happening around you because you're always going to be the last guy on the ball. Uh, no, no, that's not tempting. You should do what you like, no matter what you do in life, right? Good call. And you know, you guys won the Golden Gods Award for Best Newcomer at the Metal Hammer Awards back in 2007, mate. So... How did that change things for the band? Was there a noticeable difference after that? Uh, well, it was a good party. <laughs> <laughs> you can remember that, though. That's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, because people were filming me on the way home. <laughs> oh, no, what did you get up to? <laughs> yeah. No, but it, it's that, you know, the way it changed uh, things were probably... Uh, 
Yeah, we, we got a lot of attention, especially in the UK. Uh, the UK has always been a good market for us. And since Metal Hammer is based out of there, I think that gave us more more space in, in their newspaper or in their in their magazines and and also, you know, people found out about us. But in the end, I don't know. I think it's all the little things yeah. that, that you that you're doing that that makes you successful or makes people come to your shows, which is probably the, the receipt you want, right? Yeah, very true, mate. Very true. All right, so your new album, Everything Destroys You, does come out this Friday, May the 5th. But what's next for Death Stars after that? What do you got planned? Yeah, we have a few summer festivals in Europe uh, coming up early this summer as we... Yeah, we, we have summer here. You have winter probably. <laughs> uh, so that that's what we're doing. And then, yeah, September, October, I think uh, we have... Um, a tour which is not confirmed yet uh i can't say too much about yet uh, then we start our european tour uh late october uh, and that will continue until mid-december so it's yeah i don't know what how much of us is going to be left after that one <laughs> because it's a long tour, but we've, we've done it before and pulled through so <laughs> yeah, Bill, best of luck to you mate well thanks for your time today skinny anyway as we say the album does come out this friday may the 5th everything destroys you as gordon she's a cracker so congratulations mate and take care of yourself yeah thank you and i hope we can come back down under soon i hope to see you here mate it'll be good to catch up and have a beer yeah, cheers. Thank you, <laughs> Bye.